WBBM FM, Chicago. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. Me. I received your letter, and I'm so excited to meet the cousin Mario, whose train is coming to Chicago tomorrow on the way to California. Already I made a sleeping place for him in my bedroom for one night he's going to stay. I'm going to squeeze together two easy chairs and I'll push him against the wall. <laughs> That's so cousin Mario can fall down on it from one side. <laughs> I would have given my bed to Mamma Mia, but I'm taking no chances. I'm going to lump a mattress. It took me two years to learn how to sleep in between the lumps. <laughs> but I got a letter yesterday from a cousin of Mario himself, and he says I'm going to recognize him from the train very easy. He's going to wear his green hat with a little red feather. Then the long jacket with the four buttons in the front, the brown the corduroy pants, and just to make sure, he's going to be wearing a piece of paper with his name in the big letters. <laughs> Mommy, I got only one to worry. What's going to happen if somebody else is going to be dressed like that? Well, Mamma Mia, I, I feel so excited about meeting the cousin of Mario tomorrow. I find myself singing on the way to my night to school. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From the ocean to ocean. So your cousin is coming in tomorrow, huh, Luigi? Yeah, hello, it's... Uh... Uh, what train? Uh, the chief. <laughs> what time? Oh, 4.30 p.m. What for? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. I'm just as excited as the rest of you. I know you are, sure. Yeah, so. <laughs> to me, that is my fondest memory. My first joyful week in America. <laughs> your, uh, my uncle only got me a new suit of clothes and a beautiful job at six dollars a week. Only six dollars a week? Luigi, in those days you could raise our family on six dollars a week. Yeah, but today the government is part of your family. You need six hundred. <laughs> Quiet, gentlemen. Here comes the teacher. Good evening, class. Good, Good evening, evening Miss Balding. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. And I guess you what, Miss Balding? Uh, just answer here, Mr. Basco. Uh -huh. Mr. Horowitz? Here, and Luigi's cousin is coming in tomorrow from Italy. <laughs> Please, no unnecessary talking. Mr. Olson? Here, and he's going to spend the night with Luigi before he goes on to California to live with his uncle. <laughs> the next one who talks out of turn gets a zero. Mr. Schultz? Miss Balding, I wish you would change the batting order once in a while. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz, you have that zero. No, 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 please, please, Miss Balding. I'm responsible because my cousin and Mario is coming in from Italy, and, and they all excited just like me. Well, all right. Mr. Basco, did you say your cousin was going to stay with you? For one day. Then he's going to live with an uncle in California. 
Luigi, you know, for the short time he's going to be in Chicago, you should show him a good time. Oh, sure, the Horowitz. How am I going to take him on a bus ride and show him the Loop, Wrigley Building, Marshall Fields, the Lake of Michigan? You and... stop the bus, Luigi. <laughs> you got him halfway to California. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, I think your cousin will enjoy that little bus trip. Sure, and, and also, I, I'm thinking about making him a little welcome party. Oh, wonderful, Luigi. Where will the party be? What time? And should we come formal or bring our wives? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, everybody is invited, Schultz Also, I'm going to have a Pasquale and a Rosa And, uh, and uh, well, that's all I, I don't get too much money So it's going to be a little party oh, oh, Luigi, the food is of minor importance Your cousin will enjoy a real bang-up Yim-dandy time With our own jolly little groove <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Luigi We'll make him feel real homely oh, Good, and Miss Spalding Are you going to come too? Well, I, I I can't say for sure, oh, Mr. Oh, please, Basso. Miss Pudding. I want to, he should have seen you. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, good. <laughs> good, that's wonderful. When your cousin takes one look at the teacher we got here, it's going to be goodbye, California. Chicago, here I stay. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Was you smart tonight in the school, a little banana nose? <laughs> well, uh, just, uh, just a so-so. But, uh, Pasquale, do you know how I'm going to surprise my cousin Mario tomorrow? Yes, you're not going to show up at the train to meet him. No, no. Come on, I guess, uh, Pasquale. All right. First, you're going to take Mario to a suspensive nightclub where he's going to eat the $5 steaks, drink the best of champagne, pinch the beautiful and dance the girls. Go on, go ahead, Pasquale. Then what, are we, what else are we going to do in this night club? Wash the dishes in the kitchen. What else? <laughs> no, Pasquale, you're wrong. I'm just going to make plain a little party for Cousin Mario in the back of my store. Ah, that's good, too. Nothing like a good home-cooked feast. Get him a nice, fat, 20-pound turkey, plenty of salad, the soup, the pies, and nuts. Now, Pasquale, huh? I only got six dollars to spend. For the whole party? Uh-huh. Uh, what kind of meat I can buy for this money, Pasquale? With the six dollars, Luigi, you can't even afford to be a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my Pasquale, I, I thought that maybe, maybe six dollars could buy sandwiches. Sandwiches? A poor fella travels 10,000 miles over the ocean, finally comes to a relative, and what does he get to eat? Ham on rye, without the ham. Squally, <laughs> maybe, maybe I could lend us some money from, from somebody? I wonder who. You know somebody, Pasquale? Could be. You think this fellow would lend me the money for the party? He might if you left the summer security. <laughs> what the security he would want, Pasquale? Marriage license made out with my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, back with a ham on a rye. <laughs> Luigi, don't be so stubborn. After all, I got the daughter, and my loss is going to be your gain. Yeah, but Pasquale, is it not the healthy? I should have gained 250 pounds at the one time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Luigi, make a cousin of Mario a little bag as a sandwich a party. Show off your poorness, so maybe you should write home to your mama or son is a bigger failure in America. No, no. Yes, yes. Then maybe mamas are going to go to work in a town so she can send her starved with American son a few dollars every week. No, but Pasquale, please, uh, lend me a few dollars until the next week, and I promise you I'm going to pay you back. All right, all right, the little cabbage bush. <laughs> Calm down, relapse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you how you good angel of Pasquale is a real sport. Hey, you're going to lend me the money, Pasquale? Luigi, you think I wouldn't help you when you're facing a catastrophe? <laughs> <laughs> Look close in this eye. Go ahead. What do you see there? A mean, a selfish old man, always out there for a buck, or a kindly, gentle fellow who's in love with a fellow man. Well, what do you see? Pasquale, give me the other eye. You ain't doing so good with this one. <laughs> oh, stop. True, sometimes I might have seemed hard headed, Luigi, but that's just a rough shell that hides a soft inside. Ah, yeah, you're so right, Pasquale. Inside of your hard shell is the softest head I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I say it, does it come out a different? 
Look, Luigi, why aren't you dancing around? I'm going to give you enough money to make a cousin of Mario such a big party. He's going to take you middle name as a Rockefeller Center. Oh, but Mario, you wonderful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just the one thing, Luigi. <laughs> huh? I'll do you a little favor. I wanted the party. You should do me a little favor. Well, anything, Pasquale, except the Marinosa. <laughs> no, no, not that. I'm not even going to ask you to elope with her. Well, then what's this favor, Pasquale? Just the promise to me blind, Luigi, that you're going to do this for me. Well, all right, Pasquale, you got to my promise. I do you any favor you ask. Good! And are we going to make Cousin Mario a big welcome party? Big end of the world, Luigi. Mario isn't going to have such a great welcome. People are going to think Eisenhower is making a return trip down to Michigan Boulevard. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll help carry you through a busy, strenuous day feeling more relaxed and satisfied. From time to time, especially when you're tense or under pressure, chew a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. You see, the good, easy chewing goes right along with what you're doing. It helps relieve that feeling of strain and tension so that work goes smoother and time passes more pleasantly. Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum tastes good, too. It freshens your mouth, sweetens your breath, and gives you long-lasting enjoyment and satisfaction. So when you've got a job to do and you've got to keep going at your best, chew refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Millions find it helpful, and you will, too. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, in one more hour, me and Schultz, we're going to the railroad station to meet the cousin of Mario. Pasquale is lending us his big 1926 piece out of car. In the meantime, in the meantime, he's fixing up a food for the big welcome party, and Rose is helping him to cook. Mamma Mia, just to look in his kitchen, and the food must be good, because Rose just gained the five pounds just from smelling it. <laughs> Well, so now Schultz and me, we're going to the station. Uh, Schultz, uh, I hope Mario's train ain't late. Maybe we should ask some conductor. Maybe he's got lost someplace, or maybe no, he's... No, stop a... already. Maybe he got off the boat in the middle of the ocean and decided to come the rest of the way by taxi. <laughs> Schultz, I know he's got to New York, but... Luigi, that's it. That's the train. Mamma mia, how you know, Schultz? Because he is coming in on track five, and this is track five. But, Schultz, I only see two tracks. That's right. Oh, Luigi, stop. You're getting me all for shimmers. <laughs> Oh, it's here, Schultz. It's here. Hey, why are they not coming out yet? Because the doors are locked and people are funny. They hate to jump out through closed windows. <laughs> Please have patience, Luigi. Oh, they're, 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 all, they're all coming out now, Schultz. Look hard that we might lose a cousin of Mario. Oh, yeah, sure. He's only wearing a green hat with a yellow feather, you know. Yeah, that's right. So look good, Schultz. He's new in this country and... Oh, I think I see him. Come on, Luigi. Follow me. <laughs> Luigi, this is Schultz, remember? Wiener <laughs> Schnitzel kid from Vienna. <laughs> Excuse me, Schultz. Uh, hey, Mario. Si, si, si. Io voglio che concetto mio amico Schultz. Piacere a fare vostra conoscenza. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, Luigi? Kiss his hand? <laughs> He says he's a glad to meet you, Schultz. Oh, hey, you look good, Mario. 
Luigi, does he speak uh, some English? Well, I don't know. I'm going to ask him. Hey, Mario. Si, si. Parla l'inglese? Si, si. Io ho imparato a parlare inglese sopra la nave. Ah, si? And the Spanish words? <laughs> Exactly, I understand. You think I'm a foreigner? <laughs> I couldn't understand him better if he was Hungarian and I was Chinese. <laughs> Mario said he learned to speak English on the boat. Oh, he did? Oh, well, good. You tell him to say something in English, huh? Mario, tell him English. See, see. Shuffle board. <laughs> Shuffle ball. <laughs> sounds like he came back from the Olympics. <laughs> uh, Mario, uh, how was your trip? Did you enjoy yourself? Shuffle ball. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him no, Luigi. But could he go for a quick game of pool and I spot him ten points? <laughs> How you like a Pascal is a car, Mario? Automobile. 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 Right. <laughs> Automobile. Oh, Benny, Benny, uh, Benny. Uh, uh, Luigi, tell me, who is this fella Benny he keeps talking about? <laughs> well, Benny, that means good in Italian, sure. Ah. Ach, look, Mario, there's the Buckingham Fountain. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? Oh. Shuffle <laughs> ball. <laughs> Hey, Mario, yes, yes. guard the Adler Planetarium. Ah, see, Capere, Capere. <laughs> Luigi, tell him what that is. That's a place where they show you the stars, just like in the sky. All right. Mario, ask him. No, 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 Luigi, parle inglese. You comprend quando le parle inglese. <laughs> Translate, Luigi. Well, he says I should talk on English. He understands me, then. Oh, you do, Mario? <laughs> Shuffle <the> ball. <laughs> Luigi, I still don't understand why you brought your cousin here to your bank. Well, I want him to meet the vice president of Schultz. I want him to meet him, and then that's going to make me look very important. Eh, hey, Maria? Excuse, excuse, Luigi. Parle inglese. <laughs> you still want you to talk English, Luigi, huh? That's right. <laughs> well, here we go for shuffleboard again. <laughs> <laughs> My big mouth. <laughs> and Luigi, let's go home. Pasquale is waiting. The party must have started. Well, now then, Mr. Pasco, what can we do for you today? Oh, Mr. Vice President, uh, well, I got a little favor I want to, I want to ask you. I want you to meet my cousin from Italy. That's uh, Mario Novello. A pleasure, Mr. Novello. Shuffle ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, uh, Mr. Vice President, he's, he's only a few days in America, and Mr. Vice President, he's, he's only speak a few words English. Few? One! <laughs> I see. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, may, may, maybe, maybe you, you tell him how much money we got in our bank here. Oh, yes, certainly. We have assets of over $83 million. Mario, la mia banca è pie di 83 milioni di dollari. Shuffle ball. <laughs> dimmi, dimmi, quanti appartiene a lei? Uh, what does he want to know, Mr. Basco? He wants to know how much of that the money belongs to me. <laughs> Schultz, what do you think I should tell him? Well, you could lie to him in English or tell him the bitter truth in Italian. <laughs> All right, I'm a good... No. Come on, Mario. Well, goodbye, Mr. Vice President. Thank you so much for talking with us. That's quite all right, Mr. Basco. Well, arrivederci, Mr. Novello. Hey, parli italiano! No, no. Uh, what did he say? Well, he wants to know if you talk Italian. Well... Uh, uh, just the shuffle board. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Luigi, I gotta hand it to you. This pizza is out of this world. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it, Luigi. Yo, and the lasagna. Oh, the, this is so new. See. But I had to buy you, sir. So come on, you hardly touch the spaghetti. But what, Luigi? I got in me enough spaghetti to knit three sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wonderful party. Smile, everybody. Have fun. Uh, are you having a good time, Mario? <laughs> Show for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, ask him what he's going to do out in California. Uh, Mario. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> e che lavoro California? Eh, sento dire che hanno bella ragazza in California. <laughs> what do you say? He hears that they got the beautiful girls there. <laughs> this boy don't have to know the language. <laughs> Uh, ask him what work he did in Italy. Mario, uh, che lavoro facevi in Italia? Aiutava il papà. Oh, he's a help to his papa. And what did his papa do? <laughs> che cosa facevi fai a tuo padre? Eh, troppo vecchio per lavorare. Sì, sì, no, no. That's right. He says his papa don't work, he's too old. <laughs> I don't understand that. Shuffle the ball! <laughs> well, that explains everything. Well, how's the party coming along? Uh, party. Party. Mario, you having a nice time? <laughs> good, good. Hey, Luigi, come here. I want a few words with you. Hello, everybody. Am I very late? Oh, no, oh, Miss Spalding. Oh, excuse me a minute, Pascali. Uh, Miss Spalding, I wanted you to meet my cousin Mario. Mario, who is the hell of Maestra Miss Spalding. Shuffle a ball. What does he mean by that? English translation. You want to stop in a Mario? Voglio sapere se è maritata. I'm a Spalding. He wants to know if you're married. Uh, tell him no, but I do have a boyfriend. Mario? If he's done his dad. So full of balls. But that's life, Mario. Here today, shuffleboard tomorrow. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> okay. Hey, Luigi, come inside a minute. I want to talk with you. Uh, sure, sure, Pascal. Excuse me a minute, folks. All right, Pasquale, what do you want to talk about? Well, I made you this big part of your cousin, I, Luigi. And it's a wonderful Pasquale. Cousin Pascali. Mario it takes you real big shots in America. That's eh? right, Pasquale. All right, Luigi, I kept my promise to you, and I'll keep your promise to me. you got to do me that a certain favor. That's right, Pasquale. Any favor except that I should marry Rosa. I don't want you should marry Rosa. I want your cousin to shop for the board. He should marry her. <laughs> No, but Scott, he, he, well, he, he's never even seen her. That's the only chance I got. <laughs> Look, tell him there's a $5,000 reward that goes to the lucky groom. $5,000? That's all right. If he stays here in Chicago, he gets a $5,000. If he goes to California, all he gets is a smog. No, but Scotty, I can't. Oh, you're backing up on your promise. All right, Mr. Big Shots. I'm going to go in there and tell your cousin the truth that I had to make this a party for him because of Luigi Bosco is the biggest bust America had since 1929. No, 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 wait, Pascal. I make a bargain with you. Bargain? Show him a Russia. Then, then I'm going to say a lot of nice things about it. That's the truth. Like she's she's got a good character, nice face. She's a good cook. Well, all right. Sooner or later, he's got to get his face up from the five thousand and look at the girl anyway. <laughs> Come on, are we introducing the lovebirds? <laughs> and that was how my first haircut in America turned out to be a crew cut. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in now the big treat of the party. Mario, is he going to have the pleasure of meeting my daughter, Rosa? Che cosa dici, Luigi? Ma Pasquale, there's a there that the president of the son of here. Ah, Benny, Benny, Benny. Yeah, I don't think Benny is going to be so happy. <laughs> Get ready, Mario. Rosa. 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 Of course, Papa. <laughs> My little buttercup. Say hello to Luigi's cousin Mario. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
you, Mario. Shut, shut, shut up for the ball. <laughs> Mario, you like her? Bellissimo. Io vado pazzo per la ragazza grossa così, eh? Oh, <laughs> He says he's a crazy over fat the girls. It's all settled. Tomorrow the happy couple and they go to loaf a man and a wife. Ten years I waited for this. I finally live with the girl. Stop it. Let me mock. The girl is one of the belle. Close the door. Let me mock. Belle Maria. Help me. Wait a minute. Make him stop kissing my hand. What's the matter, little bride? I'm not going to marry Luigi's cousin. What? That's right. I'm not. Why not? He's a man, ain't he? Yes, but I. I'm not gonna marry a foreigner. Come on, come on, come on, shuffle the ball. <laughs> And now I'd like to introduce a special guest, Miss Mary Virginia Morris, president of the California Teachers Association Southern Section. Thank you. It is indeed a pleasure to be here on behalf of 30,000 public school teachers. I should like to say at this time that the thing that makes America a unique and great nation is its fine system of free public education. The classroom is the, is the laboratory for democracy because children are really learning to live democracy in the classroom. Therefore, in recognition of meritorious service to public education and thereby to American youth and the teaching profession, the California Teachers Association Southern Section presents this certificate of recognition to you, Mr. J. Carroll Nash. Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Myers. It, it's really a great honor and, and privilege to accept this certificate of recognition. As radio chairman for this week's observance of American Education Week, I would like to remind everyone that the public school teachers are your partners in the education of your children. Your boys and girls are the beneficiaries of home, school, and community teamwork. So learn how you can cooperate more in, in the guidance of your children by visiting their teachers and your schools this week during the 32nd Observance of American Education Week. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that you'll find Wrigley's Spearmint Gum a friendly, helpful companion to take with you wherever you go. At work, in your car, out shopping, no matter where you happen to be, you can slip a stick of refreshing Wrigley Spearmint gum in your mouth and enjoy some mighty good chewing. Wrigley Spearmint freshens your taste, sweetens your breath, and the chewing action helps keep your teeth clean and bright. So chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint gum from time to time every day. Enjoy that delicious Wrigley Spearmint flavor and enjoy the good smooth chewing. Get a few packages of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum and carry a package or two with you wherever you go. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conried as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olson, with Jay Novello as Mario and Jack Moyles as the Vice President. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin, Charles Lyon speaking. Friends, this is Luigi telling you that this is Sunday, November 16th, and your favorite CBS radio station, you can hear two of your favorite Americans, Amos and Andy. That's in the 10,000 radio broadcast. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>